Hey, Speed Demons. I had a great question about emailing a single PowerPoint slide from within a presentation using Microsoft Outlook. So what's the fastest way to do it? So if this is my presentation, right? I wanna send not this slide, not this slide, not this slide. I just wanna send this one single slide from my presentation. So maybe the presentation's too large or someone just wants to edit this one slide. So how do you send this single slide from within this presentation using Microsoft Outlook? And there's two quick ways to do this. The questions you need to ask yourself is one, do you want that that slide to be editable. So do you want that as a PPTX file format so someone can copy and paste the information or do you want it to not be editable in which case you're going to send it as a PNG file type. So either way you want to go, I'm going to show you how to do this not using the default PowerPoint email commands you find within the program because those oftentimes bog down my system. So here I am in PowerPoint in my highlighting your point visually slide deck, which is a YouTube video you can check out on why you should be highlighting your point visually in your slides. You can check out in the upper right hand corner. Now by the default email commands, if you open up your quick access toolbar, you can see you have an email icon option here, which is right there. So that's one way to supposedly email a document from within a document. You also, if you come to the file menu, you have this share feature an email option. This works in all the Microsoft Office programs, send as an attachment or send as a PDF. But whenever I use those, it bogs down my Microsoft Outlook. So what I recommend doing instead, let's say that we want to send this single slide here and we don't want it to be editable. So we don't want it to be a PPTX, just simply control C to copy the slide. If you then just open up your email, just right click Outlook, new email message, you can control V to paste that slide in as a picture. You can see the picture tools format tab here in my Outlook email. Someone will be able to see what this looks like without editing it, just add a subject line and send it to whoever it is. So that's one option for not having your slide be editable. The second option is to just control C to copy that slide again. I'm gonna hit control N for new to create a new blank presentation. So presentation one here in PowerPoint. Now, because I'm setting this as a, I'll come to the design tab, slide standard four by three, so someone can actually print this. So I've changed the slide design size. I'm gonna control V to paste. You're gonna see that my formatting did not come through. So I'm gonna open up the control paste special options and select keep source formatting, which is gonna bring that slide master in so it looks perfect. So. Here I have the slide I now wanna to send to someone without going through a bunch of hoops. The issue here is if you now use, all right, these email icons, this presentation one will turn into an email that looks like this. All right, you're gonna get the title of the email is gonna be untitled and the actual PowerPoint slide itself will also be untitled, although it will be the correct slide. But because this isn't very helpful when you're sending this to people, if they've asked you for your slides, instead I recommend doing something like this. So with that presentation one slide, simply hit F12 on your keyboard to open up the save as dialog box. I'm just gonna save this on my desktop and I'm gonna save it as that slide you asked me for. All right, if you just save this slide without even closing it, if you now go and open an email from Outlook, so I'll right click Outlook, another little hidden cool feature, and I come in here, if I expand the screen and I come to attach file, all right, Microsoft will give you your most recently saved document right in the top. So that slide you asked me for, I'll just select that slide you asked me for. Here I could put in the two, the subject, and there's this slide. If I double click it, it's gonna open up and there's that slide fully editable so someone can copy, paste, do all that jazz. So that's the fast way I know for emailing a single slide from within a PowerPoint presentation using Microsoft Outlook. If you're new to my channel and wanna keep up to date on my PowerPoint hack trickery, which is just hacks, tips, and tricks to get you to happy hour in PowerPoint, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube in the lower right-hand corner. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets, free video series, and 886 free icons that are hidden on your computer, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Principal Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.